Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. What I just ended up doing was doing a little unannounced live Twitch uh, session. It took a while getting this done. For the last week, I've been trying to fix things up, fix it up with the sound and stuff like this. And I finally figured out that uh, after talking to the ISP and stuff like this, figured out that I had to upgrade my modem and kick it up to the highest internet that's available for me in my area. And that's what I did. I went and grabbed a brand new modem and we got the highest level internet that we can possibly get in my area. And we just ended up doing a live Twitch feed, a live Twitch run. And um, there was a handful of people that popped on and talked and helped me work my way through the live feed. And um, everything seemed to be working out. Uh, the sound is okay and there's no more buffering going on or very minimal buffering going on. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, right now, I am, uh, as soon as we finish that, this is just, just a little intro, we're gonna go into the live Twitch uh, session that we just did. And just to give you a heads up, it's broken down into three segments. The first segment was, I, you know, we did it, it was uh, running at 1080. So I had to decrease the resolution so other people could, there was one, one person that couldn't get the feed coming in fast enough to them, was buffering too much. So everyone agreed, we stopped the live stream and then started again uh, at a lower resolution, 720 or so. So 720, everybody was happy, the sound was coming out okay. And we did that. Um, and what we did during that session was basically, or what we're doing during this live session was, um, I was sharing with everyone, showing people the main websites that I use, or a handful of the main websites that I use to get my comic book information, right? And we talk about that during a live session where I sort of went on a rant and Speedy Gonzalez talking about it. And the last little segment, uh, I read the comments and someone mentioned that the, the screen, uh, the OBS wasn't capturing everything because I changed the resolution, I had to readjust my screen. And I didn't wanna, you know, cut the stream again and figure that stuff out. But after cutting the stream, I read the comment again, I looked at OBS and I realized what it was mentioning. So the third section, the third part of this, this live stream, it cuts off and the third part starts, it's very short and it's just basically with the, with the screen adjusted so you can see the whole screen on your site so again apologies for the i guess the first the second segment because you can't see the whole screen uh where i'm showing you guys the websites what i'm doing because the resolution wasn't fixed i hadn't adjusted in obs but anyway this is my first live live twitch feed that worked and we ran through some stuff and what we're going to do with these websites and I'm gonna add a few more bookmarks on um, my comic book bookmark tab or um, folder. Uh, what we're gonna do uh, after we do the next live stream, which is most likely gonna be next week, December 20th or 21st or so, I'll make an announcement on Twitch so and on Twitter and probably on my blog, um, on my website. Uh, but basically after we do a live stream, next week and the next week live stream on twitch is basically since people have been asking me to do more political videos and stuff like this i'm going to approach it from the realm of economics and whatnot and i'll do some political stuff as well uh, what i thought i'd do i share with you guys the the websites and the sources i have trusted sources i have that i go to to get my political and economic news okay and what we're going to do um most likely next week is basically do what we did in this twitch live session but we're going to do it for politics and economics because people have been asking me to do more political videos and i thought maybe it'd be a good idea to show you guys the sources that i use to get my political information and it does move around a lot and i'm going to transfer the sources some of the bookmarks from my main desktop computer that i've had for six seven years to this laptop that we have well, we're not gonna i'm not gonna transfer all of them i'm gonna transfer some of the main ones okay so we're gonna run through that most likely next week on twitch but um and you know and you don't need to join twitch to view that stuff you do if you're gonna view it live uh, but i will after doing that upload that video on youtube as well and once i get twitch figured out what we'll end up doing is 
we'll do live streams on YouTube as well. And on YouTube, we'll specifically stick to non-political stuff, especially now that net neutrality is gone. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that a lot more later on, right? But uh, the live stream that I want to do on, um, on YouTube is basically looking for comic books that you guys mentioned and i'm going to show you guys how i go about finding good deals on ebay or doing my research regarding comic books uh, using the websites that i do okay uh, anyway this is my little intro to the live stream that you're about to watch uh, that we just did on twitch on december i don't know what december it is december let me check my december 14th okay 2017 and we're going to do a lot more live streams from now on now that i have everything figured out and got my new computer and got a new modem and upgraded to the highest uh, speed we can online okay uh, that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video bye-bye hi everyone uh, this is chicho welcome uh, to my twitch page now, what I want to do, oh, let me turn down the volume. Okay, let me kill the volume on my Twitch page. I just want to do a little test run. What I ended up doing is uh, I went and got a new modem. I upgraded my internet to the maximum level I can be to try to deal with this buffering. And I'm doing a little test run to make sure that there is no buffering. Um, and it would have already started buffering by now. Uh, that's what I've been doing for the last week or so, trying to work my way around this and fix up with the sound and stuff like that. So it looks like it's uh, working fine. Um, that's cool. It's not buffering anymore. So I guess we're doing uh, Twitch Live. Sweet. Um, a weird timing because we just lost net neutrality in the United States. So um, we're not sure how this is going to affect everything on the live broadcast uh, it's going to become a lot more expensive for creators it's going to become a, a lot slower for um, information transformation uh, a transmission if you're not one of the oligarchs right so we'll see how this plays out um, but uh, it is what it is it is what it is i'm just happy to be on this right now uh got all the buffering stuff fixed up and look at this there's a like a sort of a window mirror <laughs> uh, fractal happening right with uh, looking at this thing super cool super cool uh, so what I want to do right now is just do a little quick thing I tried to do this before but I was getting a lot of buffering and stuff like this because what I'm doing is uh, and here's my OBS that I'm streaming from so that seems to be working fine hopefully it's looking okay there's nobody online watching right now it's uh, what time is it it's like 11 20 a.m so it's not optimum time to watch right uh but what i want to do is uh i'm going to be uploading this uh, to my youtube page and my bit shoot page as well channel as well uh, i've reduced the window size here so i won't be able to see anybody commenting um, but that's okay right now what i'm going to do actually what i want to do right away is personalize or oh, no, not personalize uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway I'll deal with this later I want to change the mouse so you actually do see it if I'm clicking on it but one thing I do want to show you I'm just gonna overlay this one and is there a way to keep this on top pin to overflow menu is that gonna do it no that doesn't do it I want this to be on top menu customize mm, what is this okay we're not gonna customize it this way i just want the twitch to be overlaid on top just in case if there is buffering actually so let's reduce this guy uh, what i tried to do before and one of the, one of the main the first twitch live feed that we're gonna do is uh, basically uh, me showing you because what i'm doing i brought a brand new laptop right uh to be able to do this uh live streaming on twitch and get into gaming as well a little bit i do want to get back into gaming um but what i want to do is transfer over all the 
all the bookmarks that I have on my main computer that I've been using for like last I don't know how many years now seven years or so uh, and I loaded that thing up uh, I made sure uh, it was a, it's a desktop computer it's a beast it's got I, I took whatever I could at you know best quality of whatever the the processors were and stuff like that during that time and I loaded it up into that, that desktop so it would last last me up to this point I guess uh, but I've got a lot of bookmarks that I have regarding economics and politics on that other computer my desktop computer and I do want to transfer those bookmarks here but I don't want to transfer all of them so I'm gonna go through and um, pick some of the bookmarks from my desktop and put them into news data and reads and stuff like this and sources good source of information and I thought we'd do that together uh, we're probably gonna do that next week um, most likely I talked to uh, some of the people on <laughs> well one person on my patreon page that supports me through patreon and I think we're gonna shoot for either December 21st or December 22nd to do the official live feed but what I thought I'd do since uh, this thing's not buffering, the streaming live. So super cool. Let's check this out. Ah, hi, Dipredatori. <laughs> How you doing? My old school way is to say, is to type, right? Uh, nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. <laughs> so, um, and I guess right now, instead of typing, I just have to, I just have to uh, talk. So nice to have you here. Uh, but what I thought we'll do right now, really quick, I just want to show you the bookmarks I added for my uh, comic book stuff. Uh, the some of the I got how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight uh, sites that I go to. I use for my comic book feed. Uh, well, let's see what's Thanks. Good seeing you. Good to be here, brother. Good to be here, brother. Or sister. Or sister. Why am I typing? I should be just be speaking. <laughs> uh, good to be here, man. Uh, finally getting this thing done without buffering. Uh, and just uh, just so you know, what I'm going to do is uh, just show you some of the bookmarks that I use, some of the websites I go to. Uh, for my comic book information right and what I've done is created an eBay account with Chicho Live okay and I just created this a few days ago because what do we plan on doing I think for the comic book stuff when we start talking about comic books and stuff I, I love to see what books you guys are looking for and uh, what I thought we'll do I'll show you guys how I go about searching on eBay to find good deals on how I do my buys. So this is, you know, a new account I created, Chicho Live, zero feedback, zero watch list and stuff like that. So I thought we'll grow that together and track some books live. And if you find, if we end up finding anything, if you want to grab them, you grab them, right? I won't be buying against you. Everything seems fine to me. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for the feedback, awesome. How's the sound, by the way? How's the sound? Just checking I don't have options for lower quality and internet isn't good enough for 1080 I can't handle 1080 hmm how do I reduce this hey Chicho good to see everything up and running for sure man for sure <laughs> we got like three people out here this is my first live experience uh, other than doing uh, Skype sessions with students and stuff so and I'm really excited to do this actually um, as for easy Zen man 64 um, if you can't handle 1080 how do I reduce it uh, so you can or is this something that you have to do from your end sound is perfect awesome channels with higher viewer count get quality options ah, otherwise the default is whatever he chooses to stream so this is on my OBS, right? So let's check this out. So I'm streaming, I guess, at 1080, uh, just to make it easier for Easy Z Man, Zenny, Zenny Man 64. I'm gonna call you Man 64 if that's okay, or Easy, Easy 64 maybe. 
uh, how do I change the options of OBS to stream at a lower quality so everybody's able to hang on here? Mm, tools, captions, automatic scene, output timer, nope. Order, transform, file, help. Options, options. You know what? I don't know how to do this. Um, Easy Man 64. Um, I'll look into it though. If there's, if it's a problem for a lot of people, uh, because settings, maybe some settings. Settings, video, base output. So if I change the outputs, oh, I guess I'm streaming right now. Video output is currently active. Please turn off any outputs to change video settings. Hmm. I'm getting some stream, but don't first for me. I'll just wait for afterward, I guess. Are you sure, man? Um, if you want to watch, what I can do is stop the stream as long as that's okay with everybody. I'll set it to a lower quality and we'll have you on board. Easy works for me. Perfect, man. Uh, easy is perfect for me too. Easy to say. Uh, so is everyone okay if I kill the stream, lower the output, and uh, we'll see if that helps out easy so he can stay on and uh, do this live stream right now you know first thumbs up I'll do it if uh, you know people aren't okay with it then uh, we'll just do this live stream this little unannounced live stream I would recommend 720 and 45 rather than a 60 okay cool plus lower bandwidth to around 300 can help sure all good sure done deal man I'm killing this uh, feed and I'm gonna try to change the setting okay I'll be back as soon as I do it okay so Okay, for some reason, the the webcam is not showing my face. Oh wow! Oh, because I changed the resolution, it moves the thing. Wow, trippy. Okay, so we reduce that. Let's check that out. So does. Um, is everything going okay? Are you guys uh, getting the sound video quality okay? Let's see this. Yeah, that seems okay. So are we good with this? Oh, there's a little bit of buffering going on. Got it at 720 now, cool. Oh, it's buffering, why is it buffering? Hmm. How's the sound? No, oh, buffering stopped, so that's okay. I am going through wireless. Uh, so, there might be minor interruptions. I am good, cool, cool, cool. 720 sound is good perfect perfect we're up and running oh why am i typing i can just speak clear chris sound yes fun stuff fun stuff uh perfect we're up and running so should i show you guys um uh, just some of the websites that i use for uh, my comic book stuff Oops, let's reduce that. Cover that up because I would love to load that up on YouTube as well. Um, I do have other comic book sites that I go to, but since I already have those on here, uh, I thought I'd show you guys those ones just to set us up for what we're going to do regarding comic book stuff. 
some of the websites we can use and you guys uh, can use those as well I wish I could see the when I reduce this I wish I could see the comments I wonder how we can move this around well I'm not gonna mess around with twitch right now okay let's do this so the websites the main websites I transferred over like I don't know one two three four five sort of information sites that I go to to uh, search for comic books right to get information on comic books and stuff like this the eBay account Chicho Live we created so we can start doing some searches on eBay and look at some of the comics that you guys might be look might be looking for and we'll do this live so we find any good deals I won't be I won't buy anything unless it's something that I really want to buy but I, I'm not gonna do it through Chicho Live anyway so I won't be buying anything but we'll do some searches for you guys uh, and I'll show you guys how I go about trying to find good deals on uh, on eBay okay and then uh, what I do when I'm doing searches on on eBay when I'm looking for comic books one website I do end up using is this it's uh, sometimes it's slow to load on I'll load up a there we go it's comicpriceguide.com it's a pretty good website uh, let me show you this let me show you the whole page you have to create an account to have access to everything okay and it's sort of you know over here it says hot new comics it's fun seeing all the pages and stuff but the main way I use the site is right here uh, search price guide I use it at a price guide and keep in mind that this is just a price guide guide being the main word here because I've looked for comic books on eBay if I'm doing it even in comic book stores and stuff or if I'm going to a convention making a list for myself to buy some comics I do do a search before I go to see what the range is what this guide is telling me so for example if we go our binger number one whoops you put that oops <laughs> pointing you put the you put the name here and you put the issue number here if you don't want to look for a specific issue you want to look for a run you just do you just search for something we're searching for harbinger right now so if you do search for harbinger it gives you the series the different series that were up or even mini series as well that have and trade paperbacks as well that have harbinger as the main title and then there's secondary titles as well harbinger wars harbinger acts of god and so on and so forth and it has them by the dates here if you can see so if we want to do a search here you can go to harbinger and it gives you the price range of how much the book is selling for right so it lists them you know sequentially down and then what it does what you can do is as long as you're logged in you have to log in right I'm logged in as Chicho right here in the top right corner if you can see right and then what you can do is click on you can click on the image and it makes it bigger right so it's not bad it's fun and then what you can do is click on the number here and it takes you to different uh, prices that the comic is selling for right and right now if you take a look at this thing it's got the price raw value and it's got the price graded value up here and you know harbinger is one of the comics that right now like you can buy or you know harbinger at 9.8 raw it's saying it is selling for 186 which is not it's selling for a lot more well raw maybe that much okay and it's saying the graded is selling for 372 but you won't be able to find a 9.8 graded harbinger number one in ebay in 372 it's being listed for 800 plus the 9.6 graded i've seen sell for 180 bucks 190 bucks 200 bucks actually 220 bucks of a cgc or cc whatever the other one is okay so use this site with caution and i've seen a lot of books here that are listed for a lot higher than what they're going for and a lot of books listed for a lot lower than what they're going for so it is just a guide okay I'm gonna go to twitch again see if there's any comments being put up just so I can address anything no it's all good uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna check comments if I'm streaming uh, I'll figure out how to get this uh, text uh, people commenting uh, to be on the side or something next time I'm streaming that way I, I don't have to check it every time but we'll leave that alone for now so this is one of the sites that I use comicpriceguide.com 
another site that I use which is a price guide well not a price guide where's the other price guide oh I didn't transfer the other price guide here uh, actually let me do a search for it because we do need that one as well uh, comic price That's the one I go to Comic Book Realm. This is the one. And this is another site that I use, Comic Book Realm, okay, as a price guide. And it is a good site as well. Uh, and you can do the searches here. You can search by publisher or you can search by series. Again, our binger. Uh, and you can do a search. And this one goes by the dates that put the dates here. So Harbinger Volume 1 right there's 52 issues and stuff like this and if you click on it let's see the, what the price difference is so over here it's you know automatically puts the stuff here and you can click on here and it says the current value is 125 versus how much was this one click back and i'm guessing that's near mint price so near mint this is 132 which is they're about the same right and then uh, i don't use this one I haven't used this one to find out what the very what the difference is regarding the grades I just usually check the information just quickly on here but this is my main one okay so here's another site that we check let me add that to my bookmarks as well comic book realm okay. let's put it right on there here another site that I end up using is and it's a it's a it's a pretty you know 90s website and it's invest comics and the person is he's doing it for the love of it uh this person i'm not sure if it's one person or multiple people doing this i'm pretty sure it's a store that's doing it but it's a it's a brutal website well i don't want to trash the guy's website he's got facebook feed and stuff like this i i like it i frequent this a lot before i go to the comic book store every wednesday right so i check it usually on tuesday night or monday nights and stuff like this sometimes on the weekend because he he adds on a few different topics that he that he has um, usually day or two days before Wednesday he loads on invest comic top five picks for that Wednesday okay so if you click this right now okay so this is slow load and with net neutrality gone I don't know how fast the site's gonna be from now on man hardcore hardcore and he got a lot of things on here so you have to sort of scroll down and he gives you the list of the top five comics that he thinks are worth buying for that week and if you click on these things it takes you to ebay right and you can click on the images and it takes you to ebay and at the bottom here he has a list of other comics that he thinks are worth buying right and take this with a grain of salt but he does say why you know a certain comic that he's picking is one of his top five picks so if you click on this right new tab i do the scroll click click and it takes you to ebay and it gives you a list of you know the comics uh, and if you have an ebay account you can you know put them in your watch list or do whatever you want right and another thing that he does i usually check the top five picks and i usually check the invest comic hot picks and he puts one of these out and one of these out once a week okay so if you go to invest hot picks click on here okay and again it's a slow load while it's loading let me go to twitch and see if there's anybody leaving any feedbacks no okay good uh as long as you guys are cool it's just and then uh check this out so this one it's a whole let me reduce the ah oh, no it's still doing so if you take a look at this one again you have to scroll down past the banners and all this jazz and he has a list of all the comics that he's picking for the week at some of these are older comics he's referencing them he's telling you which ones are the first appearances and stuff like this and again all everything almost everything anyway that is highlighting here in red that links you to again i'm clicking on weapon x number 12 and he's clicking on here all of it takes you back to ebay okay so he's he's done a pretty good job of making it easy for you to find things and 
participate in this, right? Some of his searches aren't perfect. When you click on them, when you go to eBay, it's all wacko, okay? And in this, he's got a lot more than five picks. He's got a ton of picks that he chooses every week, okay? And if you scroll down, and this one, it doesn't have that much. He only had, you know, three rows or four rows and a little bit of text. Sometimes he goes off. He's got like tons of picks, okay? So that's another website I use. Let's make sure this is streaming okay. Where is my Twitch? Cool. No buffering? No buffering. Looking good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So that's another website I use. Uh, I'm just going to close these guys up so we're not using any bandwidth. Uh, here's another site that I use is Comic Vine. And I do this for research. Uh, I look on here. The, the articles they put out, when you go to their front page, these guys, they're... They don't put out these articles very often and I, I do check them out but they put them out like once a month or once every three months or so so it's not very frequent that they're posting articles here what I mainly use them for is search where I get information regarding series comic books creators and stuff like this so if we go to the search box and unfortunately their search is not very good so I usually hit up the search with through Google okay but for example, let's go Harbinger, okay? And don't press enter right away. If you go Harbinger, it gives you a whole bunch of options that get listed here. And that's the way I do the search directly from Comic Vine. Otherwise, if you press enter, it gives you, the search is sometimes wacko, okay? It's not usually first picks here. So I type whatever I wanna type in, and then it goes here and if you look at this thing it's harbinger volume one issue one and this is just the what do you call it i think this is just a collection the trade paper it's not even uh the series right so their search is not the best but it is a fantastic website for information and again if you press harbinger it's not doing it for you so let's go approach this through hey let's see if we can find it here first Harbinger. No, let's go through it through Google, okay? Let me go to my face, let's go to Google. So the way I do it is, if I want to search something on Comic Vine, I go Harbinger Comic Vine, right? And I press enter. And you can do this through um, DuckDuckGo as well. So I'm gonna click on this, and usually the first two or three will take you to the right place. And the first one I clicked, this one, took me to the volume I wanted. Uh, no, actually, this is the volume that 2012. Here's Harbinger. Oh, this is a different Harbinger. Harbinger. My God, I should have done something easier. Here's the here's the 2002, uh, sorry, 1992 series, right? So the 1992 series was, wait a second, was it this one? No, it was the next one now. Yeah. So the 2012, 2000, 1992 series was this one oops down here and the 2012 series that started was up here right so through google or through whatever search engine it might take you a couple of clicks to get to here and what you can do with this is when you go to a series it lists it from the most recent back what you can do here if you look at this one reverse order you can reverse it and it starts off with the number one right Usually they put number zero first, but number one usually most series start. And if you go to the 1992 series, you can take a look at this. It's reverse order. Issue number 41 was the last issue in 1995 for Harbinger. And if you reverse the order up here, it reverses it. Okay. So that's another website I use. Okay. And it's a good website. I like it. Okay. I like it a lot, actually. And for example, let's go here. We'll click on Harbinger from the 2012 series, right? It gives you the list of the different types of covers, who the, you know, side location, regular cover, pull box variant A and B. It's got, you know, name Omega Rising, Harbinger number one, the dates. It's got a little write up on it. It's got a different covers on the side here. Uh, it's got a tremendous number of info and it's got the creators listed here, as you can tell, right? Ton of, oops, I clicked on one of the creators and again you can click click on a creator right 
Um, who's the writer for this? Writer, 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 writer. Joshua Dysart, right? Fantastic writer, fantastic writer. And I wonder if this is going to give us. Wow, well, that took us there. And you can click on the artist and take a look at you know who the artists are, and it lists you, and you can view all here. Take a look at this. Lists you all the books in their database that Joshua Dysart has worked on. So what you can do here, here is say Joshua Dysart appears in two hundred forty-two issues, right? And you can click on it, view all, and get a list of all the comic books that he wrote, right? Fat. Fantastic, and you can go down here and zoom through the pages. Okay, uh, so that's another website that I use that I like a lot. Um, here's another website that I use, which is mycomicshop.com. Um, mycomicshop.com, and again, I do searches here. And for this as well, I usually go through Google because their search. Let's try this. Or Binger, All right? And you can pick the val uh, publisher. So I'm just going to go Valiant, narrow the search down. Where is Valiant? There it is. Valiant, search. And this website is fantastic. And you can do the search here. And this one does it again. 41 issues, 1992. And then it's got the 2012 series. And I think the ones that are highlighted is a main series, mini uh, maxi series. Let's go to Twitch. Is it still live streaming? Yes. Nice. <laughs> and we're we're here right and what you can do is click on this right so we're going to go to the 1992 series harbinger if you click on this it gives you again sequentially lists the comic books it's got a little description of what they are right it's got a list of what they have for sale right so for example we took a look at cgc 9.8 in the in the guide it was saying it was selling for like three four hundred bucks right now this one's listed at eleven hundred cgc 9.6 300 350 um, you know 350 cgc 9.4 so the prices vary and it's got a little description right it tells you it's got a coupon and stuff like this and i don't usually go out to want this because i don't buy things from my comic shop i use it i bought them from ebay uh, from my comic shop a couple of issues but you can go to contents and it tells you when it came out the price uh, who the editors were the creators uh, who worked on the series and stuff like this right fantastic information and one other thing it does which this is the only site that I've seen do it is it's got CGC census here unfortunately it doesn't have the other uh, the other grading companies listed here hopefully we'll add those on but it's got the cgc listed here of how many books have been graded and at what grade they got right so 9.8 there's universal which means there's no you know hasn't been uh, what do you call it uh there's it's not signature series or it hasn't been uh, when they touch it up and stuff right so there's 239 graded at 9 point and stuff like this and what you can do on the side here you can click on what's highlighted here because they get their data from cgc and you can click on that i'm just opening that up in a new tab and you can go to the page that cgc has for the information they have here and the cgc page has a more recent information so the one on my comic shop is uh, not the most updated one this the one on cgc is the most updated one and to have access to this on cgc you have to be logged on and i do have an account on cgc on the other computer i just haven't logged in on here okay um because i i don't usually check for cgc and if i do you know i bought some cgc just to check make sure the serial numbers on them are okay and stuff right so my comic shop is another website that i use um ba -ba 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 and comic book database fantastic website right fantastic website it has a tremendous amount of information so much information you could get lost in this thing right so if we go for example her binger since we're all looking for harbinger let's do a search 
I'm just going to go Twitch again, make sure we're streaming. Nice. Okay, what are the comments? For OBS, you might have to rearrange the capture window since you... I'm just reading the comments right now. Since you change resolution, seems to be blown up. Really? Capture window, capture window. I guess you can open Twitch chat only on your phone or tablet. Oh, okay. Got to, got to sleep for work. See you later. See you later. Lucky Bunny, so how does it say? Rearrange the capture window since you changed the resolution, seems to blow up. So, capture window, capture window, where were we? Settings, capture window, capture window, video. Okay, I'll deal with this later. I'm not 100% sure how what that implies. We'll figure that out. Okay, thank you for the heads up. Uh, lucky bunny uh, so let's go to the comic book stuff let's continue with this so we typed in harbinger and it's got the titles here okay so if you look at titles it's got harbinger you know 1992 series 2012 series and all of them let's open up the 1992 series in a different uh, what do you call it uh, tab and then if you go here characters um, Harbinger, DC, Harbinger. These are all the different characters from different publishers that are called Harbinger, I guess. Uh, all names, cable, boop, boop, boop. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it's got things from Marvel as well. Point Crisis. And it's got Bloodshot, all the places that they appear, story names. And here, I'm going to show you what they do for people working on these things, right? So Harbinger 1992 series, it's got all the titles listed here, right? Children on the Eighth Day, that's the one we're looking at. So if we click on it, Harbinger number one, right? And it's got a rating on it, right? 8.1 from 11 voters, right? We can click on the image, you get the image. And what you can do is everything underlined, you can click on. So we're going to click on Jim Shooter, right? And there's a bio of Jim Shooter. And you can go down and find out everything, almost everything anyway, whatever is in their database that Jim Shooter has worked on or written. Like, wow, wow, wow. Here's some stuff that he's penciled. And Jim Shooter had a pseudonym that he did some work on in Valiant as well, right? And an editor, colorist, like, fantastic. I mean, look at this thing. He's edited so much. He's the third longest running editor at Marvel Comics right and what you can do here let's go harbinger 1992 if you click on this it tells you all the issues that you wrote right and you can maximize all of these anything with a plus you can maximize right dc special hey where's secret wars let's go secret wars he had a huge part to play with secret wars in marvel secret wars 1995 so he worked on as a writer on basically almost all the issues of secret wars right was this a writer yeah that's the writer okay so fantastic website fantastic website and then there's two forums that i go to i know forums is a whole bunch of them but because i'm limited on time there's two forums that i go to uh, and they're both on reddit i go to comic books uh, and i use reddit sparingly now um, there's only a, only a handful of subreddits i go to okay and uh, I go to comic books forum on Reddit, which is Reddit backslash R comic books. And I go to the Valiant uh, forum on Reddit as well, which is reddit.com backslash R backslash Valiant. Okay. And those are the two forums that I, for comic books, I usually go on. And I do go on Vote as well. Um, vote is another website I go to. Uh, and that has a comic book forum as well. But I just usually post on that and it's very it's very uh, sparse the comments being put on there uh, or the links being shared on there and once the reddit you know slowly goes away other forums will pick up I think so that'll be cool okay uh, so let's kill that so that's where we are those are the main websites that I'm using for my comic book stuff um, 
and I thought I'd share that with you since we're doing a live stream right now uh, and it's perfect and no buffering I'm assuming and we've got three viewers on here cool maximum I think we had was nine which is super cool hey Chicho good to see everything up running more messages below oh more messages below oops hey what's going on I clicked on it where'd that go no oh, well okay guys that's my little test run on live streaming I'm not sure how long we're recording for wow 28 minutes time flies when you're having fun time flies when you're having fun uh, thank you everyone for checking in uh, thanks for letting me sort this stuff out uh, looks like it worked out well looks like uh, the upgrade with the new modem uh, with kicking it up to the highest level uh, internet that I could get my hands on uh, is working out fine okay and what we'll do I'll announce the next uh, live stream session and it's gonna be basically I believe either on the 21st or the 22nd and what we're gonna do on that one is I'm gonna show you the bookmarks I use or the websites I use to get uh, economic and political news okay because a lot of people are asking me to do more political economic videos and stuff like this and give you guys my take on things and um, again since there's a lot of censorship going on YouTube and stuff like that um, I thought I'd show everybody what my sources trusted sources those are individual sources basically that I follow around depending wherever they are uh, they move around a fair bit um, where I, what my trusted sources are some of the news sources that I check out some of the data that I use right and some of the reads that I, I have a usually a folder for my bookmarks where I add on things that I want to read and I end up reading them and stuff like that right so next week I think towards the end of next week what we'll do we'll schedule a live stream and I'll show you guys these sources and if we're gonna do a live stream on Twitch um, you guys can mean, ask me anything in general uh, regarding politics and economics and I'll play around with Twitch see what I can do on uh, you know having more access to the chat here uh, overlay this on top and fix up the streaming rearrange the capture window since you change resolution okay I think the capture window is fixed up now okay cool thanks a lot for checking in guys thanks a lot for viewing uh i guess i'll see you guys in the next uh live stream right see you guys later obs stop stream Oops, no, let's do play oh i'm back okay let's see now I figured out what uh, Lucky Bunny was saying. The streaming, it's not showing the whole, let's see if that popped up. Yeah, it's not showing the whole thing. Thank you, Lucky Bunny. I just figured out what you were, what you were talking about. So how do I change that? For OBS, you might have to rearrange capture window. Capture window, how do I arrange capture window on OBS? capture window oh that's how you do it cool <laughs> okay gotta figure it out reduce that cool that works now lucky bunny thank you very much lucky bunny Thank you very much, Lucky Bunny. Oops, one, one in, Bunny. Just figure it out. Cool. Okay, guys, figure that out. Awesome. I'll see you guys in the next uh, live session.